Why was Jarvis really banned from Fortnite? Was it the cheating? Is Fortnite trying to make a statement? Is this a marketing stunt? I'm going to tell you guys why it's none of those things and what the real reason is that Jarvis got banned from Fortnite. What's up guys, it's Bros Clops, the spiritual gamer. And I'm here to give you the lowdown on this whole Jarvis thing, okay? Now you guys know Jarvis just recently got banned from uh, Fortnite. And, uh, you know, if you've seen his video, which I'll clip right here. So if you've seen his video, you know, he's pretty upset about it, which is natural. You know, it's very natural to be upset about these kinds of things. He's built a very big platform with Fortnite. Um, a lot of, like a lot of people have and it would be easy to regard Fortnite as your Lord and Savior sort of say you know because it's giving you this freedom it's giving you this uh, this power over your life that you've never had before and so it makes sense that he would feel connected to Fortnite in such a way that he would be bawling on camera you know, for the world to see. Now, what the real reason is why Jarvis got banned from Fortnite is because this is a message to him. Okay? It's not a message from Fortnite or Epic Games. It's not a message from anyone else but the universe. What do I mean by that? Oh, well, what I mean is the universe is telling Jarvis something and he needs to listen up. So while all these quote unquote negative emotions, these low energy feelings that we've labeled as negative emotions, while these continue to consume Jarvis, his vision would be blocked from the message that he's supposed to receive right now. So there's a beautiful, beautiful line in here where Jarvis has a huge opportunity right now. And it might come in the form of who knows? It could be online, it could be offline. If it's online, look at look at what's happening right now. I mean, he's getting, you know, a huge amount of views on the video he made. He could pivot any which way. If it's offline, maybe he's influenced some group or community that wants to work with him or do something else with him. There's so many doors that can open from this. So while all these negative emotions, quote unquote, negative emotions are consuming his mind, his vision is being blocked and nobody else can see his vision other than him. He's the only one that truly knows what he wants. We are all connected, but, you know, you know how it goes, boys. <laughs> so now's the time, Jarvis. Okay, open your eyes. Think about what you're doing, where you're at in your life. Do some meditation. Find yourself. There's something greater. There's something more for you to achieve. There's something higher that's calling you, that's pulling you. Even though it may seem like you've made a mistake right now, it's actually a blessing. A beautiful, beautiful blessing. Hell, you might be the luckiest person on earth right now. <laughs> but we're all lucky. We're all the same. So, Jarvis, keep your head up, man. You got amazing things on the horizon. You're going to get through this and realize that it was nothing at all. Nothing at all. Pick up some Destiny 2 or something, man. <laughs> That's what I'm on. Catch my stream, bro. Twitch.tv slash Hashtag green light. 
That's all we rep here. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. All we do is spread positivity, love, and that green light on that hot-ass body. Let's get it, boys. Keep your head up, man.